Why are the schools Bill Ayers asks so bad? Funding on American public schools has escalated fantastically. It has gone up many, many times from what it was, and yet the schools never seem to improve. And yet, we never see people like Jesse Jackson protesting outside the public schools, even though black kids can't get a good education seemingly anywhere in the whole city or in the whole state. Now, why is that? Similarly, healthcare. People say healthcare costs keep rising. Why do healthcare costs keep rising? Healthcare costs keep rising for a really simple reason. The guy who's getting the benefit is not the guy who's paying. Now, <laughs> now let, let me engage in a moment of speculative, progressive reasoning for a moment. We have a right, no less for healthcare, we have a right to eat. We have a right to food. Who would deny that the right to prevent ourselves from starvation is as basic a right as healthcare? All right, now let's have Obamacare as applied to food. You will now be allowed to go to the grocery store and order whatever you want. Fill up your cart, you don't have to pay. Somebody else will pay. What's gonna happen? The first thing that will happen is you'll take all kinds of stuff that you don't need. You'll fill your cart, you'll buy 12 cartons of milk and 45 cartons of bologna. And then you go up to the counter and the grocery store will realize that they can charge whatever they want because you're not paying. So they will escalate their prices. The basic idea is that what's going on, you and the grocery store are conspiring to rip off the taxpayer. A third man is being cheated. And so what's going on with free education, free health care, is the taxpayer is being ripped off to give so-called free stuff. <laughs> One final word about the free education scam. We're going to give you all a free education, right? And all the Sanders supporters in the audience go, yay. But, but how are we going to give you a free education? Hillary's proposal will cost $350 billion. The United States is $17 trillion in debt. We don't have the money, so we're gonna to have to borrow it. We borrow the money, and who's gonna pay the debt? This debt is going to be handed right over to your generation to pay. So what's really going on with this education proposal is that Hillary is reaching into your back pocket, taking your own future earnings and using them to pay for your education now. She's not robbing Peter to pay Paul. She's robbing Paul to pay Paul. It's a progressive ripoff scheme and we should be realistic enough to recognize it. Thank you very much.